All right, so last weekend, Zer sold a halfway decent True Prophecy. Nothing crazy. Like I said, it's only halfway decent, but I've got to do a video on it because the True Prophecy is my most used weapon. All right, I have to pay homage to it. I have 8,500 kills on this Overflow Rampage roll. Back when you could two-tap with 120s, dude, this thing was so fun. You ran over special ammo, had 18 bullets, and just started two-tapping people. That was easily the most fun I've ever had with a single weapon in Crucible was using that thing. So anytime rolls pop up with this, whether it's from Zer, I just get a random one. I have to use it. I've also got the other roll that people really really want the rangefinder explosive payload roll with accurate steady hand and a range mass orc but i'm just not a rangefinder fan man so that's why the one zero was selling kind of caught my eyes because it has explosive payload which in my opinion is the best perk in this column now opening shot would be my choice here right opening shot explosive payload is nuts and by the way i never really do videos on other people's accounts but if anyone has like opening shot explosive payload with like accurized or even steady rounds and fast charge steady hand and a range master work dude if you could let me use that that would be sick i've always wanted to use that thing and i just can't can't get it to drop no matter what. That's a pretty rare roll though, so the chances of one of you guys having that and being willing to let me use your account is probably pretty slim. Anyways though, nothing really specific to talk about with this thing. I know it's not a god roll, it just has explosive payload and doesn't have rangefinder, so I wanted to try it out. Played a couple rumble games with it, had a good time, shot was a little shaky in the beginning, but my muscle memory with this thing kicked in. I mean, this is easily my most used primary in the game, which is kind of lame honestly, right? I don't have any crazy kill trackers on any of my weapons, you know? I don't have any like 20, 30k kill weapons just because I get bored, man. I don't know how people do that. I get like severe stage seven depression, like all the side effects at the bottom of the screen and commercials. I have all those if I try and use a weapon for more than like 5,000 kills. Anyways, though, drop a like if you guys enjoyed the video, man. It helps out a lot. I think I actually have no idea what the algorithm does or what fuels it, but yeah, a like probably does something. And without further ado, let's jump right into the gameplay. All right, not a great map for a 120, but it's not the end of the world. We'll make it work. Bro, that guy just... I'm dead here. But that guy just crouched and hoped all of his problems went away. This guy actually... Oh my god. Okay, I almost choked there. I was gonna say, he kind of took a while to push me, so I was able to live there. This guy's weak. Where are you going? Oh my god, I got backpedaled. Yeah. I thought that guy was gonna try and shot me, but he made the smart play. Can't be mad at that. I'm gonna just chill here. This guy should run out. Yeah. Wither Horde Gamer. The nice thing about Wither Horde Gamers is you don't have to worry about them shotting you. Even if they're really close to you like that, you don't have to like tweak out and whiff a shoddy shot. You can just chill. Let's see if I can just float here and miss my shots. Okay, hello? I feel like that first hip fire should have hit, but whatever. That's like part of the reason I have explosive payload. Oh, I whiffed my shoddy, dude. I shot him in his toenails. It's always my shoddy, bro. It's the last thing to warm up. Like I can feel my primary shot warming up right now. It's it's, it's getting decent. But my shoddy's probably a mile off every time. I'm not gonna lie to you guys. I should just warm up before I play, but I cannot be asked. I prefer to just hit record and watch myself struggle. Oh my god, dude. I'm kind of an AC-130 right now. Kind of an MW-2 chopper gunner. Oh my. <laughs> so much like muscle memory just kicks in when I use this thing though. It's like, yeah, it's easily my, well, maybe not easily my most used primary, but this thing takes me back, dude. Definitely takes me back. Oh, GG, he stuck me. God dang it. All right, let's see if we can get the last six kills here. Possibly without dying, maybe. Get a nice little game here. The guy was weak, we like that. Love to see that, actually. Oh, you stole my kill. Nerd, this guy's in the corner, right? Yeah. Oh. My hip fire going bro like one of the strengths of explosive payload is that <laughs> hip firing supposed to be way better right because essentially you just have to hit the ground next to them and they're going to be taking damage from the explosive bullets but i feel like i was i was hitting them on some of those man or hitting him i wasn't even hitting the ground i was hitting his legs his toenails his shoes his shoelaces everything bro and the game didn't want to give me any of it what's up with that was I in the air or something? Like, that makes no sense. Damn, bro. 
You just died by a statue, a Dawnblade statue. That range. I had to four tap him, but that's pretty good range, bro. 22 defeats, 4.4 efficiency. We'll take that game. Pretty good for Exodus Blue in a 120, honestly. Another tiny map. It is what it is. Ooh, can I yoink this kill too? Definitely. Nice. I'm gonna pop this. Because this guy is chilling right here. That is... <laughs> average immortal user, dude. Thinks his immortal has like... 46 meters of range. What a beast. This is an no, no, yeah. Well, it has that range though. Come on, man. Oh, that thing is so annoying to play against. Wait. What the? Bro, I'm kind of like done trying to hit fire this thing. I know that guy. Oh, I'm dead here. Yep. I started talking and then I just wasn't thinking about what I was doing, but I know that one dude had like an Antea shield on me or something, but I don't know, man. The hip fires are sketching me out with this. It's just not doing anything. All right, 90 aim assist LMG here. Taking over the YouTube video. I refuse to not use this thing. <laughs> it's absolutely busted. And uh, if you don't have it, there's just really uh, nothing that's gonna compare to it, man. I've tried the avalanche thing, the the dawning S or LMG machine gun. I don't know why I keep calling it an LMG. Um, and that thing has 90 aim assist and it's just not the same. Oh my god, bro. The immortal guy is gonna kill me. Nope, I'm out. I'm just gone. I don't want to be over there anymore. I'll go fight this guy with low health. Dude, I really wish quick charge was a thing. I hate this handling. I wish I had a quick draw snapshot retold tail. I have a decent retold tail, but I don't have that one. If I had that, I would honestly use it over the Matador. Handling is just very, very important. I'm gonna float on this guy. He's not even there anymore. What a coward. What an actual coward. He had me weak and everything. He didn't push me. Didn't hold me. Didn't do anything. He just left. Damn. You're not sniping me through the explosive payload shots, dude. And that's just not gonna happen. Dude. This guy's just... He's just not... He's just not all the way there. Like, you could have pushed me and killed me right there easily, and now you're gonna die to me peek shotting you. I didn't even play that very well. My aim wasn't that good or anything. That was laggy. Dude, even me picking up the special ammo was laggy. That. Anything connected to that Sammy dude is just not registering, I guess. Hello, sir. <laughs> nice play. I respect it. Okay, shotgun taking over the video. I apologize, but at the same time, I don't. I really don't apologize. That's just how Destiny 2 is. Do I pop my super or do I continue to use my gun? That's the real question. I just got my kill stolen. I'm popping my super. I'm pissed. I'm going for this guy back here. Okay. My sword just did no damage. That's awesome. At least I got one. Maybe two? Maybe? No, I... I did not expect that guy to just slide into me like that. Who wouldn't slide into a super, dude? Why didn't I expect him to do that? I'm so stupid. How dumb could I be? Obviously, you slide straight into a Dawn Blade. <laughs> just need one kill. Come on, somebody challenge me. I'm gonna chill right here. Probably get sniped in the back, but... Please? He doesn't even see me on the radar. All right, well, shotgun to finish it off because that's just how it went. Voice crack at the end there. Not a terrible game though. Didn't I get a 4.4 efficiency in the last game too? Pretty sure I got the same efficiency this game. Not bad though, not bad. We will take it. I will also do my commendations because I am a good Crucible Guardian commender. All right, man, that's going to do it for the True Prophecy video. Let's outro this. One take. Awkward pauses. The whole nine. Um, had a good time with this thing. If you have that opening shot explosive payload roll and are willing to lend me your account, <clears throat> that would be cool. Um, subscribe if you want to see some more, uh, future content and dislike the video and, uh, 
if you didn't enjoy and maybe unsubscribe if you're willing. Uh, hopefully I see you guys in the next video. Um, take it easy. Sorry, I was just making sure my mic was working. Uh, yeah, have a good one. I'm out. I'm out of here.